Hi guys, we're gonna show you how we flush our Yanmar 1 GM10 on our Flicka 20. It's a saltwater cooled engine, which means the engine's being cooled by pulling seawater into it. And so when we're gonna leave it for a few days, sit for a while, uh, we like to flush it with fresh water so that we're not leaving salt water setting in the engine. So I'm gonna show you how we do that. So the engine's down here under the steps and we'll have to take those out. Okay, so this is our engine. Uh, and this is the freshwater intake here, or salt water intake rather. Okay, so we got the engine compartment opened up and uh, we're going to show you how we flush it. So this is the water intake here and the salt water comes in and runs down through the strainer back up to the engine and on the intake valve here i put a t in and a plug this is all bronze attached to here so the first thing we want to do is shut our through hole and uh, so then we take our wrench take that plug out of there being careful not to drop it in the build because that's way down there it's hard to read so then uh, have a three quarter inch pipe thread to hose fitting that we screw in there. Use the wrench just to tighten it a little bit. And then I have a, a hose that goes up to my bucket that we're gonna, that also has a hose, hose fitting on this end. So yeah, we've got the uh, hose hooked up to the bucket now and it has a valve here, just so we can turn that off when we're filled it with water and it comes down now and goes into this um, fitting on the water intake. So now we're gonna fill the bucket full of water. Okay, so we're going to fill the bucket up with water just to uh, have a reservoir for the engine to pump out of. You don't want to hook the hose directly up to that fitting uh, because you uh, pressurize your system and run water in and fill your water lift muffler up. So you've got to let the engine pump the water through. And uh, so now we turn that Turn that valve on, let the water fill up, and uh, get a nice bucket full of water there. Turn the water off. Okay, now we're going to start the engine. So 
at this point we've run oh probably at least five gallons of water or so into the engine and uh, we will idle it back down let it cool off a little bit uh, it's good to run it up to uh, full rpms there to blow the carbon out of it while you're uh, Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna just slow her down here, and uh, then the next thing we do is we'll shut the engine back off. So we got the engine shut back off, and we'll uh, turn this valve to the off position so that it kind of gives it a little bit of an airlock there when you take this guy back off of here, and then. We will just uh, take that off. I'm kind of pick it up quickly so you don't get much water. And then we take this guy back off of here. And screw our plug back in. said than done sometimes but get those threads lined up. There we go. Get the ridge. Tighten that plug back up there. So we leave the uh, through hole closed with the fresh water sitting in the engine. That means that you have to remember when you start the engine before you start the engine again to open the through hole. But that way you have fresh water sitting in your engine. And don't leave that salt water sitting in there to corrode the internal parts of the engine. And pretty simple. Yeah, so I just wanted to mention this fitting on the bucket is actually a three quarter inch through hole fitting. And it's put on backwards so that uh, it's coming through the bucket, put a little 5200 or caulking around there and then tightened the tightened it up on there. Had to drill a hole through the bucket. So, and then this piece is a three quarter inch thread. So, um, yeah, that's how you get the bucket made. Yeah, so that's it, pretty simple. Just a little thing you can do to help uh, keep that engine going those things are expensive so it's so also in the fall when you're getting ready to winterize you can do the same thing only put some non-toxic antifreeze in the bucket and let the engine pump it into it so you fill your engine and everything with antifreeze for the winter and uh, yeah that's it pretty simple if you like this video hit that like button and uh, send me a bottle of rum <laughs> yeah all right bye bye